For everybody watching this video will probably look like it's poorly edited or there's just not as many cuts, mainly because I decided to leave most of the fight sequences in this video for the purpose to showcase you guys the raw damage of subtlety rogues. So with that in mind, please do enjoy this video, hope you guys enjoy it, let me know what you think about the subtlety nerfs, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Dude, look at that, my health, look at everyone's health, alright? Okay, so, I am not rolling Thieves Bargain. I have reinforced armor. I know my weapon isn't amazing. It's just like a 29 item level, but look at my health With fucking reinforced armor. Look at everybody else. That's a tank, but like mage 2 mil. I have 1.8 Dude, they nerfed the stab by so much. It is crazy I almost feel like I'm running Thieves Bargain like Thieves Bargain was bad enough because it made your health so little I actually want to try next BG like go sparring Thieves Bargain just for kicks just to see the health Right? I just might after this QNBG right afterwards just to see my health. Today we're going to take a look at the nerfs for subtlety rogues. They got nerfed by 15% overall for agility, 10% in general all specs got nerfed, all classes got nerfed, and stamina also got nerfed by like 10% I think, or if not 20. I'm actually not sure, to be honest. Okay, he's gonna explode. Oh my goodness, I'm lagging a little too. Like, there's a delay to all my abilities. I don't really know what to do. I'm dead, dude. I'm actually dead. Unless... Yeah, I'm dead. I'm actually just fucking peacing, dude. Ooh, this warrior, dude. Oh. I'm actually gonna blind him. Just so I can get the fuck away. Oh, uh, look at that healing, dude. Only 19... 19k? Juking him. Juking him, dude. The jukes are gonna be real. Alright. No, jukes weren't real. I was gonna juke behind him with Shadow Strike, and it's actually possible. But my MS is over what I'm normally play. There you are, you dirty bastard. What is real and what is fake And the risk we have to take Will we love what is true? Don't just. Are you gonna bubble? Or are you FK or something? Did you see? Watch him bubble right now, dude. He's actually just making fun of me, isn't he? Yeah, look at that. That guy actually just stood there making fun of me and just like. That was weird. So I didn't really get to. I'm, I'm gonna shrink it out, whatever. I didn't really get to deal that much damage to the guy. It was kind of a. Uh, I don't know, disheartening actually. Damn. I literally just popped all my cooldowns and it did nothing. I guess I'm like, I'm doing okay in numbers even now, like, the Nightblades I guess are doing alright, but like, look at the damage of Nightblade and Shadow Strikes, man. My Shadow Strikes average is now 77. So it's almost, it almost, uh, I guess, it almost enforces as a subtlety work for you to go something where your Shadow Strikes deal more damage, but, you know, it's just like, yes it's more damage, but like, it doesn't mean it's good damage, you know? Hope I'm making some sense here, dude. I guess I'll just go back to annihilating people. Just annihilate all day and I'll see where that takes me. Yeah, look at this damage, man. I'm just hitting the hunter. And I know that I like, don't have all of my uh, artifact towns, but like this damage doesn't seem all that high. I think this the nerf might have been a, little, a bit much. I'm not sure, maybe there's a, like a better build, and I'm pretty sure there'll be a subtlety rogue, like a census for example. They'll figure this shit out, you know? Be like, hey, so uh, since the nerf, this uh, this talent build is now a little bit of a better option, and a more viable option now. But we'll see. Maybe. Damn, I have no shadow strikes anymore. Oh, hold on. Yeah, no shadow strikes, but if I can just like live long enough. Nice. Stun him on that. Get him comp points back. If we can just cap flag once, never mind, we don't have the flag. Rip. Come on, man, don't do that. <sighs> Come back. Okay, so they're all trinketed and they're all just gonna cap now. Trying to deal as much damage as I possibly can, but this warrior is actually just kicking my ass. Maybe I can run. 
If I had some more damage, nope, I just burst. I actually wasted my Shadow Blades because I was kind of hoping I'd get a gouge. But if I got, I'm not playing Outlaw. I don't know, this doesn't feel as good. I guess like Blizzard's thinking like, well, they have a lot of mobility. So, oh, my gloves are transmogged. Maybe that's why I'm losing because my gloves are transmogged. But maybe Blizzard is thinking like, well, they have a lot of mobility. So like, let's just tone their damage down. But maybe nobody at Blizzard plays Subtlety Rogue or have seen Subtlety Rogue damage. Or maybe they just got bursted by Subtlety Rogue, right? So they were like, all right, nerf this shit to the ground. And it's like, maybe they play Demon Hunter, you know? So they're like, okay, well, Demon Hunter, I guess we can tone down the the uh, artifact just a teensy bincy. And they're just like, well, it's still died on Metamorphosis, 100% guarantee. So like, what the fuck, Blizzard? But you know, I'm not a dev, so what do I know, right? What do I know? I know that I'm lagging. Stuff. Like, what the fuck? Maybe go on the uh, the stun talent where you deal more damage to enemies that are stunned. Maybe that'll be a better option now because you can deal 10% more damage to target that's stunned. And then just go back to the stun locking rotation. Maybe. And def I feel like definitely go uh, right now going. Um, what the fuck? Come on. Stop running away. Oh, jeez. You're worse than a rogue sometimes, man. I swear. But what was I saying? Um, I feel like going Prey on the Weak now might be the better option because you're dealing 10% more damage to enemies that are stunned. So, might be. Th there's a swap. They swap an option now. So you can get like an increase of damage everywhere you go. Because they kind of killed off the whole burst build and I gave it a try as much as I could. Like Eviscerate deals, oh my god, 200k damage? They literally made Eviscerate like worthless now, I feel like. Or, or like DFA, combo Eviscerate, whatever. Like Eviscerate, they literally, I, me I remember back in beta they nerfed it by like 50%. So it was just like, okay, alright Blizzard, so you want us to Shadow Strike? Okay, cool. We can do that, and it was like, oh, okay, that works, because, like, now we have not, like, as in, say, no burst, like, in the opener. We can still do it when we have, like, Shadow Blades line up and everything, but otherwise, we just have a lot of good consistent damage. And then Blizzard, I guess, was like, nope, I uh, can't have you guys doing that either. No, hoo hoo. No, hoo hoo. Like, look at this damage, man. I mean, I'm bursting onto a bear. I know that, right? But, like, this is ridiculous, man. This is with all my... All burst all together. Okay, maybe... Uh, it's just, like, now, if, if the enemies have defensives, your burst does nothing. I mean, I know the burst is supposed to, like, mitigate... Defensive is supposed to mitigate burst. But at least, like, if some classes feel like, you know, you can at least put a dent into a player. But as a subtlety rogue, it, it basically says, yeah, you might as well just swap off. Just don't even invest a single a piece of energy into the enemy. Not even, almost no point of building combo points either. And as an outlaw rogue or assassination rogue, at least you can like, you know, start denting, but it won't be as effective. As subtlety almost feels like it just like, you hit a wall and it just stops, you know? I'm not a big fan of that. Like, let me give this a go again, right? I mean, I know I got these warriors on me, right? So these guys are going to be the biggest, the nicest guys ever. And they're definitely going to let me burst into the, uh, to this fuck. Dude, that guy might as well play, <laughs> that guy might as well play Tank Bear. I mean, honestly. Oh my goodness. Uh, damn. Well, the damage I felt like was a bit under, underwhelming. Like, if you look at the breakdown of, like, damage, what I used to have. Nightblade, I guess, deals a lot of damage, but, like, now the average of Nightblade is, like, 40k. Like, against 2 million worth of health, 40k, really? Why is that a thing? One. Uh, damn, I was hoping I would maybe be able to use some damage to this guy. So, like, my damage is, I guess... I don't know. I feel, I feel nerfed. Like, as a subtlety rogue, I feel nerfed. I might, I might not feel as nerfed if I had my artifact weapon fully geared. And maybe that's why Blizzard did this, so that people that don't have the... Maybe, maybe that is what Blizzard did. Maybe they made it so that if you don't have fully geared artifact weapon, then you, um, you're not going to be able to get as much of an effect. Because, like, I'm the one of the people that just isn't even playing subtlety that much. 
I just have it as an off spec because you guys want me to make subtlety rogue videos. But it's like, I don't know. I might just do another BG and like give this another shot and hope my MS improves because like it's, it's, it's 200 world 66 home. If it was like 66, 66, I'd be dandy. But okay, well.